Okay, this is a walkthrough for Amy Myers. She was asking for help getting a uh, plane to overlap a flag and making it so that when she sends it to the laser cutter, it will not engrave the bars of the flag over the engraving of the plane. Now, if we come up to View, Display Mode, and we go to Outline, this is what the laser cutter is going to see from this particular file. Um, so the flag that I grabbed wouldn't laser cut very well, and the plane that I've got is a very simple outline, but I'm just trying to show the basic steps, and this file should work well enough for that. What you're going to want to do is go into the Node tool to edit paths, and you're going to choose the lines that you want to cut down. Zoom in. And where you want that line to break, all you have to do is double click on your line to add a new node at each such point. And then you're going to select the line that you want to get rid of and come up here to click on Delete Segment Between Two Non-Endpoint Nodes. Now, if you want, you can come in here and really get those pieces right on the line. I seem to be getting a bit of a hang up here. There we go. You can grab them and hold down control so they only move in one direction and really zoom in. Now since I'm working in outline mode, I only see the lines and this makes it a lot easier so that I'm not also having to deal with the stroke widths and I can see very precisely where the intersection is. You see no matter how far I zoom in or out, my lines are always these tiny little segments. And so I can zoom really far in and see very precisely where they overlap. It's far more precisely than what your laser cutter is going to actually be able to do. So it's detectable by eye. And so just every place where they intersect, you zoom in and you double click. Then you move on to the next one. You can get all your nodes in place and then come back later to do your cleanup. And you just click on the line, and click on Delete Segment, and now those two lines will not continue through my plane. And so just absolutely everywhere that you've got. If you have a whole lot of lines in your design, this is a very painful process to go through because you're deleting a lot of tiny little segments. But this process absolutely works every single time, no matter what your file is. This is reliable because you're doing it all by hand. There is very likely better ways to do this. I just haven't had to work on a design which was complex enough that I needed to go around and find a better way. Um, some laser cutter and other CNC style machines will obey clipping paths. With a clipping path, you can have all this happen automatically. However, with the Glowforge, it completely ignores clipping paths right now. So trying to do this through clipping path will not get you the results you want. So remember, you just double click where there's an overlap and get rid of it. Now, if you accidentally misclick and you hit the other line, then you can end up selecting off onto the other object. But right now I'm trying to do that to demonstrate, and it's just not working for me. So you don't have to worry too much about accidentally clicking on the wrong spot. You just get your lines in place. And so now, for this particular file that I'm working on, it's all set up so that there's no overlap. Now, if I go back to regular view, it's probably all kinds of messed up since it was using lots of fills. Fills end up getting screwed up because I'm breaking the paths. And you can come back and fix that, and having those fills messed up might end up messing things up with the laser cutter as well. If that ends up being the problem that you face, then, since you're wanting to deal with fill objects, then you're going to want to go back to using subtraction and then come through and clean it up afterwards. 
So right now I'm undoing all of the steps that I had done. Going back to outline, looks like I've got everything completely undone. Um, so if you're going to do a Boolean operation, you hit Control-D to duplicate, or you come to uh, Object Duplicate, I think? Nope. Edit. Duplicate. I used that through hotkey, so Control-D. So right now I've got two planes here. When you duplicate, it copies directly in place. So now I can have the plane and the flag selected, and I can do Path Difference, and that didn't work, probably because the flag is grouped. Yep. So, select a plane, select a flag, path, difference. Now if I go into display mode outline, and I move two planes out of the way, I apparently actually did nothing. I thought that I had seen it happen. Oh, it did. So, this SVG is put together with a big red background there. And then there's just white bars over the top of it. So, a lot of this can be very dependent on how exactly your file is set up um, for getting it all to work out the right way. I probably could, yep, duplicate the plane again and difference it from the white segment as well. And now it's even more messed up. So, anyhow, for this particular SVG, it already wasn't set up to laser properly back here. But if you have everything set up so that it would work on its own in the Glowforge, then this should work for you. Um, where it does mess with fills and you need to close the pathways back up, doing this duplicate mode gets you some overlapping paths that can help you to get those fills to work. Um, but in this particular case, I'm assuming that doing path difference was not an option because of one reason or another. If you can work with difference, though, that's very much quicker.